station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Amiko Cowder. Vehicle traffic is really picking up in space. Tuesday saw SpaceX's Dragon cargo ship depart the station for a splashdown in the Pacific Ocean just five and a half hours later. The vehicle returned 3,700 pounds of cargo and critical science samples to Earth. And Europe's fifth and final automated transfer vehicle is slated to undock from the station on Saturday, bringing an end to its six-month mission. The vehicle carried seven tons of cargo to space and tested technologies for the improvement of future ferrying spacecraft. The next resupply vehicle headed for the station is Russia's Progress 58. It's scheduled for a same-day launch to docking on February 17. Astronaut Terry Vert spent some time this week setting up the plant rotation experiment. As plants grow, their roots, leaves, and stems form a spiral shape, and this study hopes to learn more about microgravity's effect on that process. A better understanding could lead to new strategies for growing food crops in smaller spaces and with less fertilizer. Results will also help scientists develop plant habitats for astronauts growing their own food on future deep space missions. This week's social media question asks, what is the longest anyone has ever spent in space cumulatively? Well, Russian cosmonaut Sergei Krikalev holds the record with 803 days in space over the course of six flights. But that record soon will be broken by cosmonaut Gennady Padaka, who will launch next month along with ISS one-year crew members Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko. Padaka will surpass the record for cumulative days in space on June 29th. Make sure to keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.